evening viewer welcome to our glory group to hear the breaking news yes as john kerry arrived in beijing sunday today for a long awaited trip to restart climate negotiations the us climate envoy stepped off the plane into one of the hottest summers recorded in the chinese capital since 1951 beijing has seen temperatures breaching 104 degrees for a night 40 degrees celsius on 11 days with almost half of them occurring in the past few day weeks including a new record for the city's hottest day in june in the united states an extreme heat wave is also swelling with temperature in the southwest soaring as high as 120 degree for a night 49 degrees celsius it is a global problem the planet's hot Test day ever was recorded for four straight days earlier this month. If anything, this is the situation that should most bring China and the U.S. back on the same page," said Li Shuo, senior global policy advisor at Greenpeace China. Regardless of their political differences, the impacts of climate change have now become a common experience for both countries. It is no longer a hypothetical crisis or analytical challenge but a living reality that can be felt through the skin as the world's two biggest polluters with china's emission of planet heating pollution more than double those of the us the two countries account for nearly 40% of global emission this means attempts to stave off the worst impact of the climate crisis will need to involve these two powerhouse nations drastically cutting fossil fuel production yet climate cooperation between them has been largely frozen for nearly a year amid heated geopolitical tensions last august beijing cut off climate talks with washington in protest at then us house speaker nancy pelosi's visit to taiwan in the middle of the worst heat wave china had seen in six decades more than two months of scorching heat dried up reservoirs killed crops and livestock crippled power supplies and led to rolling blackouts in some of the largest and most prosperous chinese metropolis this year Soltering temperature have arrived even earlier impacting hundreds of millions of residents and again putting huge strains on the country's electricity grid china energy investment corporation the world's largest generator of coal fired power said its production of electricity reached a historic high on monday like the visit by blinken and elin Experts don't expect any major announcement from Kerry Street, but they say the optics are significant. Lee, the Greenpeace analyst, said he would be closely watching who will meet with Kerry in Beijing. The default lineup, he said, includes Kerry's Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping, Vice Premier Ding. Zhu Jiang and a vice minister of ecology and environment. If Kerry was granted an audience with Chinese leader Xi, it would send a important signal on Beijing's commitment for future engagement. Lee said, "Beyond the report, Glory Globe to be Delhi, India."